up, boys? I just woke up. I haven't been in my bed yet. I just woke up. Cat. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you just sitting there? You think I to the camera? Uh, I'm in my bed actually in the morning. Boy, we are screwy bastards. You know? I didn't get time to wash my face and I just genuinely just woke up and I wanted to detail how my dream went and how all my self value has been linked to school. For all my life I've lived in school. For all my life I've gone to school and done my studies and done work in that environment. And for all my life I've been anxious, depressed and relatively unhappy with my life. See a correlation? I see it, definitely. In school, I imagine myself <laughs> lost, aimless, distracted, looking at that girl that I wanted to talk to. Thinking about the girl I was going to talk to at lunch. Now, I might go to her place. I was thinking to Netflix and chill. I was just thinking about girls, about money, and about talking to people with social experience. I did not think a sing about a like a, for a single minute about studies until like lastminute.com. I'm always a lastminute.com guy. With GCSEs, lastminute.com, I skipped school for like GCSEs, I skipped for like three weeks. They're gonna find my mom with 60 pounds, so I started going to school again. So I don't know my mom would get fined. Because honestly, I hate school. I hate it so much. I hate being. Do indoctrinated. I hate the idea of being in one place without my how do I say this? Without my not necessarily permission, but without my consent. I had to be here at 11 a.m. in the morning. Not 11 a.m. Pretty late. I had to be here at 9 a.m. in the morning, 8 a.m. in the morning. No matter how I felt, I hated that. I hated conformity. I, I skipped school for like three weeks. And then it was a total of like a month that year. And for the last three months in school, I literally lost me because that's the guy I was. I lost me and I clutched up. I clutched up and I got the grades that many would desire. But it means nothing now because I'm just a hikikomori, staying at home all day, exercising in my room like a dickhead. I think it's for something though, I am going to take amateur fight, I am going to take a YouTube boxing fight though, because I have to. It's quite, it's quite intense. So for the last three months I just clutched up at school, in college I didn't really do anything, I just dropped out, because I didn't feel like it. I hate my subjects, I hate my life, I hate everything. I, I should have just done it anyway. Honestly, that would have been a better, a better thing to do. I should have just excelled in school anyway. I should have just got my grades first year, got my grades like next year. It's just two years. But it's, to me, it's just not two years. It's like a lot, very long time. The year that I spent not in school, at home, honestly, it was a year finding myself. A, a year of intent and reflection. A year of... Intense thought. Who's my fuck? Who's the fuck? BS. Well, for her. Oh? P my PDF. Books. Uh, meditation of Marcus Aurelius. It's just turned into. Uh, oh. Just gonna open them.
Okay, they're still openable PDFs. Okay, sure. Well, close. I today I woke up and I immediately thought about like I was I was half dreaming and I immediately thought about going back to my secondary school and going back to that place and looking for life advice, guidance, looking for someone to talk to, someone to tell me what to do. Because that's what the school system has made me be like for the, my entirety of, the, the entirety of my life. It has made me obedient. It has made me like a, like a worker, like a worker drone. It made me incapable of thinking for myself. It's quite, it's quite annoying. And I don't think about this all the time, mind you. I'm, I'm mostly thinking about trying to do some work. What you all thinking about at the moment? However. <laughs> if I'm by myself like I am now, the thoughts definitely are tempting. And it definitely is on my mind, I have to say. I I look back, like, uh, yeah, you just go get a good college, and if you, if you apply in September, somebody might accept you, and you're 18, so if, you're not too old, so you can still go to college, and by the time you finish, you'll be 19, 20, and... It'll be fine, and uh, 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 I'm like, that's not what I want in life. What was I even doing in college anyway? I don't remember even being low to my studies. I was trying to study here and there in, my, in the library. I think it was quite chill in the library. But I had like the most hours. There was a girl next to me. It's like my first week in school. I still remember this. It's quite embarrassing. There was a girl next to me. She was like an Indian Pakistani girl. She was quite traditional. She was like, well, I just want to be at home and be a housewife. And everyone looked at her weird. I looked at her weird too, but now I'm, after all this time improvement, after all the traditionalism that I've been through in myself, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good thing to strive for. And a lot of other people would like look down about, upon, upon her for wanting to be a housewife, just to take care of her kids all day. And I know your kids are insufferable, insufferable like me. That I assume you would want to, as a mother, you would want to take care of your kids all the time. Uh, she was probably living a, a, like an incredibly different life to me because of the way first man said before, like men try to live on a female timeline. They reach their mid twenties and then it's time to settle. It's not time to settle in your mid twenties. It's time to work, work, and work. The decade from twenty to thirty should be you completely engrossed to work with tidbits of uh, instant gratification, just tidbits of instant gratification, sometimes McDonald's, sometimes KFC, sometimes movies, sometimes anime, sometimes manga, whatever vice you have, sometimes, ideally no, but sometimes, so you try to keep your sanity. I don't have a wife at the moment by the way, I'm just going to read books, exercise, and do what I can without Wi-Fi, I have a lot of things I can do without Wi-Fi, so no excuses. Ah, uh, man, I'm gonna come back to this, but I, I, I wore my old school clothes, I don't even have them anymore, in my dream, I wore my old school clothes, and I went to school, doo, 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 and it was super fun and happy, my mom traded my old uniform away for a bucket of honey, amazing, I need to get a suit though, I don't even have a suit, uh, like, it's very weird. These thoughts these, I get, these feelings I get, of being left behind in life, being an advocate, of being a, a piece of shit person, name every single day I wake up with them. Even if it was just for like a minute or 20 minutes, every single day I fucking wake up with these feelings. And I'm somewhat used to it by now. Because what I want to do in life, like YouTube and everything, like, probably. You're going to have to get used to it. I'm going to have to be able to work a shitty minimum wage job and pursue the YouTube, pursue the books, pursue the business. I'm going to have to do the shitty things that I know what wants to do. Because it is what it is. I really can, I can hope I can get a job near me. I really hope.
so grateful for these undercard videos, man. So grateful, genuinely. I think the undercard video just gave me a huge sense of purpose in my life. Something that before I felt incredibly lacking. 27 bytes. 26.6 gigabytes plus 27.1 gigabytes. 26.6 27.7. That's weird. 1.1 gigabyte between. Uh, the dent in my desk is still here. Scars of my past still hold me. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. 57.4.3 gigabytes. I get to free up when I delete these videos. This is quite annoying to see because I can't. It's kind of a constant reminder of my past. I guess I can cover, cover it in my book. <laughs> cover it in the book. Cover it in the book. I have a pretty good quote that I made my made up myself. I don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I would have tried to changed so much had I not made this quote it's, it is called live mediocre die mediocre and I made it the 14th of January over a month ago month and 11 days ago at 12 18 a.m. and I made this quote today today I actually woke, pretty woke up at a weird time I woke up at 7 a.m. then I woke up at 12 I went back to sleep because I was dead tired uh, I could go back to sleep again but I, I mustered the energy to get out of the fuck out of bed because I need to do work well, the reason why I make that quote is because I think to myself, live mediocre, die mediocre. Had I decided, like my friend that I made in college, before it, I met, I met him in the boxing gym, and then it turned out he went to my old college. I would be in the second year, and he would have been in his first year. And he told me something interesting. He said, "Why are the kids the same all the time? They sit outside the school and just spend like three hours vaping and smoking weed outside the school. That's so edgy, right?" Same type of, like guys, it's different people, but it's the same behaviors every single year. I think the older kids indoctrinate the younger kids into that degenerate smoking weed, smoking vaping lifestyle. And to me, I was disgusted by it from the get go. So it was impossible for me to get enamored and engrossed in that lifestyle because I I knew that it would be incredibly unhealthy for me and I would end up wanting to die. Kind of morbid, but I know that it's um, it's the way I probably would have gone about life had I decided to go on that path of vaping and smoking and trying to get more girls that way, impress the girls. Ooh. All the girls that I knew were smoking anyway. It's fucking disgusting. The smell. It tastes awful as well. I just addicted. Had I lived like that, basically, I gave him like a bunch of information, books, courses. Like I gave him like inspirational speeches. I gave him this, this, and that. This one, the guy who's first year in school, and I haven't really heard anything from him again because of it. I do always just a test to see if a person is genuinely serious about entrepreneurship and business and changing their life. I I do this as a little test to see if they're you know serious about that type of thing. They usually aren't, they usually become complacent again, they usually become quite engrossed into the whatever mediocre shit life can give them. But tell them it's okay, you do think way. But really they intrinsically know that they're doing right and it's not things are not okay and they feel like they're failing in life because of some letter. Because that letter dictates everything, right? It's quite a day system. I 
I need to take shit seriously, honestly. Save my money, invest in my projects, make more money. I won't feel behind in life if I continuously work towards something productive. I will not feel behind in life if I continue to work something, towards something productive. If I continuously waste my time, then obviously I will feel behind in life. But if I continuously work towards something productive, I will feel incredibly ahead in life. Bro, I need to take a piss. I don't want to end this video abruptly here. I might put two videos together.